After being debated in Metro Council for years, Nashville's first license plate readers are expected to be installed soon. They're here for just a six month trial run for at least for now. News Channel 5's Chris Davis explores why some council members find them helpful and others harmful. This is one of my most nightmarish locations. It's not just rush hour when things can get a little rowdy on Bell Road, which is why Councilwoman Joy Stiles wants license plate readers in Nashville. We need LPRs to know who's participating in the reckless driving, but also who's participating in illegal, other illegal activity. And now it's official. For just a six month trial, they'll be coming soon to an intersection or police car near you. Using fixed, mobile, and trailer mounted license plate readers. Quietly, Metro Police released this video on YouTube unveiling the rules of the road when it comes to 39 LPRs that will be installed across the county. Violent crimes, amber alerts, silver alerts. We're looking for stolen tags, we're looking for stolen cars. And perhaps more significantly, what they won't be used for. We are not looking to watch you go to a bakery every single day. We're not looking to watch you hang out with your friends. We are looking for crimes specifically. Part of the legislation that Metro Council passed dictates there has to be a sign posted nearby that says you are near a license plate reader. I'm disappointed that we're doing it. But Councilman Dave Rosenberg isn't convinced there's enough oversight to ensure they're used instead of abused. There's very little accountability. The public's not going to have access to how this data is used. And thinks it's almost certain the trial run will become permanent. The administration is in favor of it. MNPD is in favor of it. Both of them are really good at PR and they're going to paint it to be a huge success no matter how bad it is. But Stiles hopes, if nothing else, Else, the very presence of the cameras will tame this rowdy road. If you know there's a camera watching you, you know that you're in a stolen car and it's looking for your license plate, I don't think you're going to park in a busy intersection to try and do donuts, right? You're going to try and avoid these cameras at all costs. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Councilwoman Stiles adds only 10 people in MNPD will be allowed to have access to data from license plate readers and there will be electronic documentation of everyone who accesses the data to make sure there's no abuse.